Improv is a series of moments of uh, how you react to the other person's trust. He's a professional improviser and just opened Victoria's first studio. I kill the bear. We, you want me to get it ready for dinner? Kill the bear. Fantastic. That earns you the bear badge. I get the bear badge? Yes. Stage improv is simple. I listen to what you say. You instantly accept and react to it. Working together to build something. You bring something, I bring something. You bring something, I bring something. It's this creating. I like getting from nothing to something. That's drawn Dave to improv. How'd that scene feel, guys? How'd that scene feel for you? It felt good. Growing up, <laughs> he was actually a shy kid. I mean, we'd play in the woods, me and my friends, and we'd pretend to be ninjas and stuff. And Marla, yeah. But grade so, nine so, drama so, class so, broke something inside of him. We were doing improv on Friday afternoons, and she made me get on stage to improvise, and I didn't go up, and so she made me go up, because that's what drama teachers do. I now do this to people. He came back down, a changed Dave Morris. Exhilarating feeling to have just done things based solely on instinct and just being 100% in the moment. Four, three, two. Through all his years as an improviser, he's seen how improv skills complement skills we use to navigate modern life. Listening. The better you listen, the more you know. And the more you know, the better you are. Uh, be okay with failure and not give in to that fear. Quick thinking with a response. In today's world where everything moves as fast as it does, the faster you move, the more you are in tune with all that. Acceptance. The most basic foundation of improv is saying yes and accepting what's happening as truth. Similar to life. Every program that's designed to make you a better person, the first thing they start with is acceptance. To accept where you are in life, to accept who you are. While learning to let go of the things that you're holding on to that you think are better in your head, you have to be able to let go of that so that you can accept and move forward. Mm -hmm. And so improvisers do that like every second of every masters. scene we're on stage. Improve myself. Say a quote from Shakespeare and then justify it. Now is the winter of our discontent. <laughs> uh, Dave, I have some questions for you and I would love for you to answer the questions as a character. He doesn't know which characters I have planned because he's an improviser. Are you game? I'm totally game. As a stock person in a, in a store. Sure, yeah. What was the question again? So, someone that's doing improv for the first time, what are some challenges that they might experience? I mean, so most people, I'd say the biggest challenge is their own self-consciousness. They're afraid of looking stupid or sounding silly or, or, um, or just saying something that might like reveal a little too much uh, truth about themselves, mm -hmm. right? You know? Mm -hmm. Why is it important to remember to play, especially as adults? Mm -hmm. But can you tell me as a tourist? As a tourist? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Wow, this place is great. <laughs> Did you see this building? It's so oh amazing. You know, I think I think we don't play enough anymore, sweetheart. I think, uh, and you know what? I would like to, because we spend so much time working that all we, oh, look. We spend so much time working that we don't take the time to be present in the moment. You know, we're in our heads thinking about it instead of playing. You know where play happens? You know where play happens? I had such a fun time trying improv. I'm joining one of his weekly classes. Improv is happening right now in Victoria. So, from Paper Street Studio, I'm Raji Cabley saying, See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>